So one of the things that I'm super proud of in my life is my professional racing team, as well as my nonprofit. They are one and the same, and they are Project Echelon. So I wanted to talk about that today and give you a little introduction into who the riders are that ride for this team. So the foundation of my modern myth is that we own three things in this life. It's our mind, our body, and our story, and how we use our mind and body writes our life story, so we're trying to write the best life story possible. And one of the ways that I've done that is by helping to create Project Echelon. Now, this was born out of my own struggles post-military separation. I used many different avenues to heal, but there was always a gap until I found triathlon and cycling and endurance sport. I didn't have have something that was consistent that could carry me through those gaps. And so, Project Echelon, let's help other veterans do that as well. But one of the cool things about Project Echelon is we do have a pro racing team. They're also racing in Europe, one of the only teams that I know of that's doing that. So I want you to get to know them the way I have gotten to know them. Well, you won't get to know them as good as me. It's one of the perks of starting the organization. But I would like to share with you what my experience with the men has been. And every year I go to team camp, it's one of my vacations, frankly, is getting out into this mix of pro riders, of coaches, of trainers, of video photo people, and it's just a wonderful experience. And part of that is getting to know the men who are on this team. So without further ado, let's get into it. First up, we have Ricky Arnpool. Now he is deceptively deep. He is goofy. He is fun to be around, but he will go deep. He will talk about deep, hard conversations. He's been through things in his life and has overcome those, and he is a rock as far as the self-development power of cycling. Next up is John Heinlein III. He is an all-around great guy. I've never had a bad experience when I'm around him. He makes you feel welcome. He makes you feel seen and heard. But honestly, I feel like if he weren't a cyclist, he could play polo. Maybe it's the, maybe it's the third. And then there's Zach Gregg. Now this dude, stud. That's all I can say really is stud. On the bike, he is a beast. Off the bike, he supports the mission. He onboards all the veterans. He's doing everything. And I gotta be honest, he's a shoe in for Mr. November. He's a good looking dude. <laughs> I think his legs are carved out of granite. Hugo Scala Jr. He is a new rider and I am excited to see where he goes. I had some good conversations with him, a solid guy, and I'm eager to watch him throughout this season. Matt Zimmer, he is a beast in the best way possible. He is also one of the strongest riders on the team that uh, is a staple of the team as well. And uh, if you catch him in a field, don't pull over your truck because he will not back down from a confrontation. You know what I'm talking about, Matt, you, you know. And that brings us to Eric Hill who, about the laziest man I've ever met in my life. I mean, all he does is builds a pro racing team, builds a nonprofit, has a full-time job, married, couple of kids, rides his bike at a pro level. I mean, <sighs> no, but seriously, this dude, he is, I mean, I've raced Iron Man, but he is the Iron Man. Like he, he embodies that and he is the backbone of the organization, the backbone of the team. Without him, I don't sit here and have this t-shirt on, honestly. So, I can't say enough about Eric Hill. David Greif, I will say endurance. That's the word that comes to my mind. I think he's going to break records this year or at some point in the near future, he will break records. But on the other side of that, he's just a great guy. I love having him around. He's one of those energies that's just vital to the dynamic of a team environment. George Simpson is... I would say the nicest guy to ever kick your ass because he will and he'll smile when he does it. It's just, it's just a thing. Will Harden, I'm glad that vegans can consume Watts because you're gonna see him off the front eating up Watts like crazy this year. Peter Olenicek, it's as hard to catch him in a race as it is to pronounce his name for the first time. And just like his calves, he is a true pillar of power for the team. And Tyler Stites, he is a nice guy, one of the nicest you'll meet, calm demeanor, but he is a monster on the course. He's gonna hurt feelings this year. I'm worried about the other riders. Brendan Ferry, AKA Monk, has the voice of Matthew McConaughey, which I'm a fan of. And then I was like, yes, John's on my wheel, we're gonna go. And then I start going, I look down, I'm like, this <laughs> and his style is unmistakable and it is always a pleasure to watch him. Evan Hardig, he's a shoo-in for Mr. December and he poses equally well, whether it's Instagram on the top of the podium. Another staple of our team for, for years now, and I'm very thankful that he's been with us that whole time. Tim Savre, which... As a Wisconsin boy, it bothers me the way he pronounces his name versus Brett Favre. And I don't know who's right, and I've been really conflicted about this. Is it Brett Favre or is it Tim Sarve? 
but he is a staple of our team. He wears many hats and he wears them all really well on our board serving the financials. And he's also an amazing rider for our team over the years and a backbone that's really carried this team forward in the success that we've had. Steven Vogel, Doc Ox, one of my favorite guys to be around on the team because he knows how to put out the power and he puts out some serious power as well as bring it back and really connect. He's also a freaking doctor. Doc Ox, I mean, that's, that's, that's a cute name, but he medical doctor and then I'm gonna go ride bikes really really well I believe I heard a story where he, when he first raced he didn't even think he was that good but people were like uh and he's like maybe I'll do this more Frank Cundiff is a phenomenal guy he's also a Navy veteran so it's really cool to have a rider on the team that has served that's a very unique to him situation he's also an, a, a wonderful person to have around as far as bringing energy up conversation isn't going to die when he's around and that's that's important at times ethan crane not our token kiwi though we seem to always have a guy from new zealand on the team which i love because i love their voices i mean it's a lot cooler than this one isn't that but i think this is a rider who is stepping into the next phase of his career and i'm really excited to see where he can go through this season. And there's Isaiah Newkirk, our performance director, and he is putting his Masters of Fine Arts degree to fine use as a cycling team performance coach. He, he's a brilliant guy, and he has structured the team camps in a way that sets us up for an amazing year with drills and exercises and, and the fundamentals and watching numbers and checking stats and watts and blahs and blahs and, blahs and all the things that I don't even understand. Then there's Lauren Hall, who is arguably the greatest women's racer in the American racing scene. And she's our director sportif. Was phenomenal getting to hang out with her and, and listening to her story. She also gave me a chocolate chip cookie that I didn't know had tree nuts. And I had a mild allergic reaction in the back. And I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to hurt her feelings. She was just trying to take care of me, you know, make sure I had food. And that's, that's the rundown. That's the team. I just want you to know them a little bit better because there's this element of the journey that if we know people more than just a name, when I cheer for the Packers and I, I like AJ Dillon or, or whoever, and I can cheer for them, it's, it's great. I can kind of, but these people interact with the veterans, the veterans know them, they trust them and they're eager to watch them succeed. So it's a really unique thing that we built with this team and I want you to experience it too because the whole power of this thing the educate equip and empower is great but without the fourth bar of community we don't really have a whole lot changing and moving the needle forward so I look forward to sharing more about project echelon because truly my modern myth is rooted in at least part to project echelon it is how I use my mind and my body to write the best life story I can. So if you don't have a community, I would invite you to check ours out. Go to www.projectechelon.org or go on Instagram at Project Echelon Racing and see if we're a good fit. And if we're not the community that you're looking for, I hope you find one because community changes everything. Consistent relationship changes the trajectory of your life and the people that you are in communion with dictate where it's going. So I will catch you later. And until next time, journey well, my friends.